Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the structure of the Earth. We're going to talk about some general things, then talk about the different layers of the Earth, going from the top down, crust, the upper mantle, the lower mantle, the outer core, then the inner core, and then I'm going to talk briefly about how we worked out that the Earth has these different layers. So firstly, the centre of the Earth is a bit over 6,000 kilometres below your feet right now. Okay, so 6,000 kilometres below you is the centre of the Earth, which is a really long way. Uh, but you'd never be able to get there, other than the fact of drilling or digging a hole that big is ridiculous. Uh, there's different things. It's not all made of the rock that we know the Earth to be. So further down below us, different things occur. And these layers... Uh, are defined by their physical properties as well as the state and composition of them. So we're going to go through these different layers now. So the first layer is the crust. This is the outermost layer and this is what we think about when we talk about the Earth. It's made up of rock, it contains the continents, there's mountains on the continents. Uh, this also contains the sea floor. So at the bottom of the ocean uh, there is well, sand, but under that sand is a, a rock uh, and that rock is basalt mostly, uh, but that's all part of the crust. So it goes uh, ranges across the world uh, about how thick it is. Under the sea floor, it's only 10 kilometres thick, while under uh, the big continental areas, uh, it can get down to about 70 kilometres thick. And it's 20 degrees at the top and gets hotter as it goes down to about 500 degrees at the bottom of the crust. And you'll see that trend as getting hotter the deeper it goes down, continue all the way to the centre. So we then get into the upper mantle. Now the upper mantle can kind of be broken up into two parts. The most upper part of the upper mantle is solid and pretty much the same composition as the crust. Uh, and together we call this upper part of the upper mantle and the crust the lithosphere. And this word litho comes from the Greek word stone. Below that lithosphere, the rest of the upper mantle uh, is still made of rock, but now the rock is so hot that it's plastic. And this means that it's soft and capable of movement. Uh, when you think plastic, you think about the things that toys and televisions are made out of. Uh, but plastic, well, that plastic, the polymer, actually got its name from the word plastic, which means soft and malleable, uh, which is an old Greek word. This layer that moves around very slowly uh, is called the asthenosphere, and coming from the Greek word asthene, which means weak, the same stem of the word asthma, which means weak air. Below the upper mantle, we have the lower mantle, which I suppose makes sense, and it again is quite hot. In fact, it's much hotter. It gets up to about 3,000 degrees. Uh, and it's a little bit cooler at the top, a little bit hotter at the bottom. And it, even though it's so hot, is no longer that soft plastic rock. Uh, because of the immense pressure, and this pressure comes from basically all the earth sitting on top of it, uh, it is under so much pressure that it cannot actually form a liquid and is a solid. So we've got the lower mantle, it's a solid, uh, even though it's super, super hot. And the mantle in total is about 3,000 kilometres thick. We then move to the core. So the core is made of dense metal, uh, and we believe this to be iron and nickel, and it stretches from 3,000 kilometres deep uh, down to, all the way to the centre of the earth. So the core is the bit in the centre. Uh, the outer core is a liquid, so it's liquid metal and about 5,000 degrees. And it, that liquid metal actually moves around, it rises up and down, there's convection currents that happen in it. And those convection currents cause the shifting magnetic pole, uh, which is what our compasses use when we're trying to point to north. So that comes from the outer core and that liquid metal moving around. We then have the inner core, which is the innermost part of the Earth, and it is a solid ball that is 1,200 kilometres in radius, or about 2,500 kilometres in total size. 
and it is again really really hot it actually gets up to about 7000 degrees but once again because of the immense pressure that metal which was molten in the outer core in the inner core is solid uh, and again uh, it is that nickel and iron in the core and this actually constitutes or the core itself constitutes a fair chunk of the mass of the earth in total so that's all the layers we have the crust on the top the upper mantle the lower mantle the outer core and the inner core but you're probably asking how do we know that we've got all these different layers if we haven't seen them uh, we have drilled a hole in the crust and it got down to about 12 kilometers deep they were aiming for 15 uh, but didn't quite get there uh, so that's barely scratches the surface of the crust so how do we know that all these things are down here well there's a whole heap of different fields that go into it uh, some of it is gravity so we can work out the gravity of the earth and therefore work out how heavy the total earth much must be and we found it to, that to be much heavier than it would be if it was just made of rock uh, we've looked at the magnetic field of the earth so we can say that well it must be iron and nickel because they're the magnetic uh, metals and um, we've also looked at earthquakes so when an earthquake happens earthquakes generally happen in the earth's crust uh, and fairly high in the crust but what they do is they cause shock waves that travel all around and through the world. And we can actually measure how fast and where these shock waves travel to to work out whether the piece of earth that they're traveling through is a solid or a liquid uh, and how dense it is. So we can work out most of these things from a whole different uh, branches of science with fairly reasonable precision. In this video, we've talked about the different layers of the earth, starting with the crust on top, which is solid rock, the upper mantle, which is plastic rock, the lower mantle, which is again solid rock, the outer core being molten metal, in particular iron and nickel, and the inner core being a solid metal ball that's about two and a half thousand kilometers across, and has temperatures of up to 7,000 degrees. And I talked about how we know these things through the study of gravity, magnetic poles, earthquakes, and a few others. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.